Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing Peripera Ink Mood Matte Tints from Fall in Acorn Collection. To give you an overview of this collection, apart from these four Ink Mood Matte Tints, there are two new shades of Ink Mood Matte Sticks, two new shades of Pure Blushed Sunshine Cheek, and a new Altake Mood Palette number 13 for in Acorn. Peripera has renewed the packagings from just solid colours to these beautiful gradient tubes. I love that these match so perfectly with the fall or autumn vibe. Meanwhile, the applicator remains the same. What's unique about this applicator is that it is a curved dough foot that almost resembles a tiptoe. If you look closely, the curved area is where it picks up the product. The applicator hugs my bottom lip perfectly, but I find it a little awkward to apply it on my upper lip as I would need to flip or angle it properly to get an even application. But fret not, you won't end up with an uneven lips as the formula is very blendable. They have upgraded the formula which I really appreciate. It fixes onto the lips much better now while maintaining the blending ability and lightweight texture. Also, it still gives the matte blur finish just like the original Ink Mood Matte Tints. I would say this texture is very comparable to their Ink Airy Velvet line. Ink Airy Velvet is a bit more lightweight than this. But personally, I prefer this Ink Mood Matte Tint formula over that but man, check out their bright and lively shades. <laughs> I digressed. When comparing this to Ink Third Velvet, Ink Mood Matte Tints are for sure much lighter weight and the overall colour pigments are more muted. It also gives similar finish to their Ink Mood Matte Stick line. As compared to Ink Matte Blur Tint, if you still have them or used them before, Ink Mood Matte Tints have more moisture in them and blurrier finish on the lips. When comparing this to those from Romaine, this has more glide to it and is less blurring than Blur Fudge Tints, but this is much lighter weight on the lips than the Zero Velvet Tint. That is because the Zero Velvet Tint is more similar to Peripera's Ink The Velvet in my opinion. Another product I must compare this against would be Clio's new product, Chiffon Blur Tint. I'd say the Chiffon Blur Tint has more body to it and no silicone-like feel to the touch. Let's find out whether it transfers when blotting with tissue. Yes, they get transferred, but the pigments are still very apparent on the lip thereafter. You will also find this product does not leave any stain after wiping it with micellar water. Despite it not leaving any stain, it lasts quite long on the lip while it dries down comfortably. As you may be curious on the scent as well, it has an artificial chocolatey scent that is not overpowering or unpleasant. I like that I cannot taste it nor smell it too much when applying. Shall we now move on to the swatches? The first shade is number 12, Almond Rose. It is described as a warm tone rosy pink shade. I really love this perfect blend of rose and brown tones and this will be a great MLBB shade for many. This is a must-try shade from this collection if you were to ask me. Next up, number 13, Morph Pong is as the name suggests, in a morph shade.
for this shade, it came to my surprise that it still looks variable on my light medium warm skin tone unlike many other morph tones that I have tried before. If you have always been wanting to try morph shades and haven't had any luck with them, do give this a shot. Another shade I have is number 14 Makeup Chili. It is a kind of brown shade that you would definitely think of for fall season. It is so warm and chilly like. Although I wish this has more brown to it, it is no doubt a beautiful shade for fall. Don't you think so too? Number 15, Acorn Brown is a cool muted brown. To my surprise, it does not make my skin look dull despite it being a nude shade. This is the shade that will look amazing on both warm and cool skin tones. Let's take a look at these four beautiful shades next to one another. For comparison swatches of the first shade, number 12, Almond Rose, I have Peripera Ink Third Velvet in number 17, Rosy Nude, Ink Mood Matte Steak in number 13, Heart at Plum, Ink the Velvet in number 28, Morphe Nude, Clio Chiffon Blur Tint in number 7, More For You, and Peripera Ink the Velvet in number 22, Bouquet Nude. Rosy Nude is the closest looking to Almond Rose, while Hearted Plum is slightly cooler and has more pink than that. As you can see, the rest are either warmer or cooler than Almond Rose. That's what I meant by having the perfect blend. For number 13, Morph Pong, I have compared it against Peripera Ink Mood Matte Steak in number 13, Hearted Plum, Ink the Velvet in number 28, Morphe Nude, and number 17, Rosy Nude, followed by Chiffon Blur Tints in number 6, Heart Point, and number 7, Morph For You. Morph Pong is unique in a sense that it has a lot of purple hue, and I don't have any in my collection that is quite like this. Next, number 14 Makeup Chili is compared with Peripera Ink Mood Matte Steak in number 8, City Pop Chili, Romaine Blur Fudge Tint in number 4, Redwood, Peripera Ink The Velvet in number 25, Cinnamon Nude, number 23, Nutty Nude, and number 30, Classic Nude. City Pop Chili is almost a dupe of this shade as you can see, while Redwood is a tad deeper. Cinnamon Nude has lesser orange as it is more of a nudie shade than Makeup Chili. Obviously, Classic Nude looks nowhere near Makeup Chili on my lip if you have watched my swatches of Peripera Nude Collection. Last but not least, when comparing number 15, Acom Brown with Peripera Ink Mood Matte Steak in number 12, Hip Brown Ink The Velvet in number 23, Nutty Nude, Roman Zero Velvet Tint in number 23, Vintage Top, Peripera Ink The Velvet in number 25, Cinnamon Nude, Roman Blur Fudge Tint in number 4, Redwood. So what are my final thoughts? If you already couldn't tell by now, I'm crazy in love and impressed with these ink mood matte tints from this fall in Acorn collection. All the shades are so flattering on light medium warm skin tones and there is hardly any grey undertone to them. The improved formula is also great, comfortable and gives beautiful matte blur finish. So if you are into nudie or MLBB shades and has similar skin tone to mine, these ink mood matte tints from this collection are not to be missed. Thanks for watching till the end and I hope that this video was helpful for you. See you in my next video.